So my name is Jonathan Wilker. I'm a professor of chemistry and materials engineering at Purdue University. So adhesives are everywhere around us. So they're holding together our shoes, our cars, our walls, the carpets, uh, our packaging, even the electronics that we use every day, all held together with adhesives. So they're everywhere. When I think about the most problematic toxicity issues related to adhesives, I think about uh, plywood, which is wood held together with, with adhesives. And plywood, uh, that the binder there off gases formaldehyde, which is a carcinogen. So if you have a, a new build house or, or building, you're very often for the first year or two breathing a lot of this carcinogen. However, uh, you don't really know because it doesn't smell like anything and you don't see it either. So it's kind of an invisible toxin that's coming out of the adhesives, but yet we're exposed to it a lot. With, with modern adhesives, uh, they're wonderful because they can be really high performance, make really strong bonds, uh, and, they're, and they're actually generally pretty cheap. However, there's not much available in terms of sustainable alternatives. And so that's where we stepped in here and, and got into the game. So we developed this system by thinking about sustainability, thinking about adhesives, and what the design constraints are. So we need uh, materials that are low cost, that are already available at huge, huge scales. We need performance that is no compromise relative to the petroleum-based adhesives that, that have been around for generations. Um, it doesn't leave you with too many options, right? Uh, and so then what we also thought about is how do sea creatures, like these are oysters here or mussels, uh, how do they make their adhesives? And there's a, a fairly unique type of chemistry they use to make their, their adhesives and to attach themselves to each other and to rocks. And so what we did is we took these large scale uh, sustainable components that are available, we added in a little bit of chemistry from the animals and that was sort of the key to getting everything to click together and, and to make these new adhesive systems. So even if you think about uh, microplastics in the oceans, right, a lot of that has to do with adhesives because the adhesives themselves are, can be microplastics, but also a lot of the packaging that cannot be recycled because it's held together with adhesives ends up in landfills and ends up in the ocean. So you might think, oh, packaging is a great place to start with sustainably sourced adhesives. And from an environmental perspective, it certainly is, but it's a difficult place to make money. So what we need to do is figure out where can we have high impact, but also sustain the operation to keep going. So I've been thinking about sustainability and adhesives sort of, sort of like a table with four legs, right? So there's four things that you need to hold up the table, right? So you need uh, sustainable technology, and that's what we're working on here and developing. You need uh, companies to actually bring the technologies to market. You need demand from the consumers. And what also might push things along is uh, regulation and regulation for, let's say, more sustainable materials that we use every day. And like a table, if you only have three of these things, the table will still hold up <laughs> but it'd be a lot better with four legs. <laughs> so this is how we're thinking about it now. Slept to each other, and then if you have 50 miles of this, when the storm surge comes in, like from a hurricane, it dissipates the energy. And this is one animal, this is another animal, this is another one, another one. They're cementing together. We're trying to carry. Yeah, that'll, that'll retract it. 